Hello, Divine Masculine. Sherry here from No Fucks Giving Crew. How's it going? Um, okay, so this is going to be a Divine Masculine reading for July the 7th until the 21st. Um, so I'm going to be um, on holidays during that period of time. So if you want to order a reading, uh, this is your last chance because I'm going to be leaving on Sunday. Um, so, I also want to thank you guys for all of your support and the readings uh, that you've ordered recently. I really appreciate, um, you know, being in the position to hear the Divine Masculine side. Um, so, I urge you guys, please, to comment, um, share your stories um, with everyone, with the collective, right? This is a journey that we are doing together. So open, express yourself. Okay, so I'm using um, the John Holland mixed with the Colette Baron Reed. So I'm going to alternate and also I'm going to be using my cards for uh, clarification, okay? So I'll pull three per position for that. Um, so I think I'm going to do um, a Celtic wing. Okay, so beginning with your present position, spark, beautiful. So this talks about something um, is being born within you. There's a creative spark. Um, so let me read it real quickly, and then I'm going to pull the cards afterwards. Okay. You are a clear channel for divine creativity. There is a spark of creativity in you, and you have, the, you have every reason to move forward with optimism and hope. Open yourself to inspiration and allow life to show you its beauty and your part in co-creating it. This is a perfect time to give birth to a new idea, to start a new relationship or job, or begin any endeavor. Attraction is high as you connect with others who can co-create joyous experiences and join with you in expressing the finer aspects of life. Watching a spark turn to a flame and stoking the, that fire is a gratifying activity. Um, so there's a desire growing inside of you. Um, and what I'm feeling, it's kind of more like the Ace of Wands energy. Um, you know, a new beginning, a new start that is more in line with your higher calling you know, living your true authentic life. So, like I said, it's like a kundalini awakening that I'm seeing here. Um, and that fire is growing within. Okay, past, present, and future. So we got the three of wands in the past position. So um, this is making a decision, right? Having that spark, that inspiration, that aha moment, and deciding to follow that, to um, pursue you know, a life that is more spiritually aligned. Um, so the Three of Wands is actually starting to see your work paying off, right? Your decision. Um, so it's illumination and um, it's reward. It is, you know, spirit giving you the thumbs up, right? So um, in a sense, the wait is over. Uh, you're starting to feel excited and motivated and uplifted. However, present moment we have the three of swords so you know this is an energy of having your heart broken um, so it's a devastating energy um, so very painful and now I can understand why you know the five of cups was showing up in the future position that's mourning the loss okay and also the tower showed up in your future position for the twin flame reading so um, there's something that's coming to an end and, um, you know, you're, you're releasing it in the future, but in the present moment, um, it is at the forefront. Okay, so um, this is having your heart broken. However, I'm feeling it's more of a protective mode um, from, you, you know, your past. Or it could represent that, you know, in order to, to release any... Um, in order to embark on this spiritual journey something needs to come to an end in the future and you're dreading that um, you know it's gonna hurt somebody and you don't want to hurt them um, so 
but that spark is growing in you. There's no way to contain it. Um, so in the future position, uh, this is transformation, metamorphosis. It's an ending to your previous life. Um, so it's a cutting away, uh, the pain, the darkness, the ego, your old identity, allowing all that, you know, um, I don't want to get graphic and say death and, you know, rotten and decaying matter, but that's what it is. It's, you know, things that are attached to you that is just, um, like vampire like in nature you know sucking your energy draining away and it's like a heavy garment right so just take it off and allow it to fall away um, so this is a caterpillar turning into the butterfly um, so you know it's very reflective of the tower that's coming it, you know it's almost like in the twin flame reading you were wel welcoming it you wanted it to come you were willing it to However, you know, there is pain associated with it. Okay, so foundation, wishing well, awesome. So this was the overall energy card for the twin flame reading, I believe. Oh my God, I'm getting all the readings mixed up. I'm terrible. Okay, so, you know, this is um, making a wish and, you know, letting the seeds of intention be carried off by the wind and then um, surrendering and you know waiting you know for that seed to come but it sounds like it will <laughs> um, okay number 48 all right number 48 here so wishing well um, desire is a sacred impulse of life Feel it, but let go of all attachment to ownership. Desire is the most important impulse for creating life. Now you're seeing the relationship between desire and inspiration and sensing that moment of truth when you feel the inception of new life. It is an aha moment when everything makes sense. Perhaps you recognize a soulmate or are conceiving a baby or an idea. The wishing well card awakens you to the presence of unseen forces that enable you new beginnings. Divine intelligence activates the field of possibilities where new life is co-created in a magical way. Neither you nor anyone else can know or know how or why this happens. It just does. To that end, you can't control the pro process of growth. Rather, you must step aside to be a channel for higher forces and relinquish any attachment to how this new creation should appear or when. Form your intention and take action by dropping the coin into the wishing well. Then trust in spirit, prepare to be amazed. Okay, so the ma you, the masculine, made a wish and like I said, it's, you know, it's manifesting. You're starting to see, um, you know, signs and synchronicities that you are on the right path and, um, like I said, it's lighting that spark within you. So I see you transcending. Um, so I'm going to pull some clarifiers. But both these cards have to do with um, new beginnings, things being birthed, right? Ideas, um, creative ideas. Um, so new beginnings for sure. So this is almost like the Ace of Swords. That's like the Ace of Wands. Okay, two of swords, ace of cups, and the king of swords. Oh my god, he shows up everywhere. Okay, so um, the two of swords is having a choice, right? Both have far-reaching consequences. And because they're so important, there's a sense that he couldn't make a choice, that you can't make a choice. Um, however, you do. You choose to follow love. So you relinquish control. You make a wish and you let destiny, um, you know, lead you where you need to go. So it's a beautiful surrender that I see here. Um, the Ace of Cups is um, a new beginning of love. Um, so, you know, by releasing control, you're bringing love into your life. So, that, you know, that's what you desire. That's the seed you sent out. One moment. 
Sorry about that. Pizza arrived. <laughs> okay, so, um, yeah. So the seeds of an intention that you're sending out is seeds of love. Okay, so you're activating that field of potential. Um, this card also only comes when you're, you know, you've let go of the past. You've uh, forgiven yourself, forgiven others, and you're truly open to receive love into your life. Um, so it's an open channel for love, okay, and, you know, it's, a, it's like, you know, this love is raining back down on you. Um, the future position we have, the King of Swords, uh, so this is, could represent an air sign, um, but this is you having mental clarity as a result of surrendering. Uh, and ultimately, this clear state of mind will, that is you know, emotionally detached because the King of Swords isn't controlled by emotions. Um, so you're able to make decisions from a clear state of mind, which ultimately um, leads to an ending in the future. Okay, it's like you're preparing yourself for this ending that's coming because you know it needs to be cleared in order for the sea to fully come into your life, this new love. Okay, um, so I should be alternating, right? Okay, so I'm going to go to the John Holland. Um, okay, so recent past position, disruption, the tower. So this card is coming in the future position. Um, so, I mean, it couldn't have happened already. But like what I'm seeing is, you know, the tower coming in the future. Um, in the present moment, you were, you know, preparing to become the hermit, right, in order to relinquish control while the tower comes in. Um, and so it's almost like we've skipped ahead a bit in time where the tower has already occurred, and you're feeling that heartbreak that comes in the future position for, for you as a final outcome. So it's like... There's a quickening, uh, you know, time is speeding up. Um, and I really felt that in the Twin Flame reading, there was this massive ascension that happened, you know, on the feminine side in the near future. And it's almost, I don't know, it's a weird uh, paradox here. It's like time is kind of shifting back and forth. Anyway, let me pull a clarifier. So this is, um, you know, anything built on a faulty foundation was meant to come down. So something that was an illusion, something that you were holding on to uh, in the past was released and, and that makes room for, um, you know, that new path to open up and a new foundation to be laid. So, wow, tower again. Um, Sacral shock. I just realized I didn't shuffle the cards when I came back on camera. Um, so you're just going to have to trust me. I don't mess with the cards. There's no need to. Um, so one more card and then I'll shuffle it. Oh, Ten of Swords. Okay, so the past position, you know, tower, tower, holy cow. Um, so, um, you know, this is a bolt of lightning. It happens very suddenly. It comes in, crashes down on you. So it's a very sudden change. Um, so if something happened between the time that I de last did the reading till now, you're feeling the effects of it in the present moment. So, um, the sacral chakra is emotions. Um, this is a distant past position, right? So there's a distant past past and present past is, um, an opening. So feeling emotional, um, which is why this is coming in in the future it's like you know you're feeling unsteady shaky um you know um being consumed by pain on some level because of this sudden destruction um in the future position we got the ten of swords so again cutting away ending the king of swords is someone who would not be in a situation like this it would be ended right so um you know, it's like the ten, the king of swords is ending it, cutting it away, um, detaching emotionally from the situation. So, 
again, that allows that transformation to happen in the future. It's hard to do. It's very painful to do. Um, but, you know, you have to get rid of that, that the old to make way for the, the new. Okay, so um, your hopes and fears. Yeah, I'll use the John Holland. Okay, five of cups. So this is a self-fulfilling prophecy is what I'm seeing here. Uh, the Five of Cups is coming as a final outcome, right? It, I felt it was almost like a warning not to close yourself off as a result of the tower, um, you know, feeling this pain in your heart. And, you know, so this is mourning, loss. So you hope or fear this. And because you're thinking about it, you're going to manifest that is what I'm seeing. Okay, you don't want to be hurt. And as a result, you end up closing yourself off. Um, which is the last thing that you wanted to do. You wanted to be able to detach yourself emotionally. That's it. There's a difference between detaching and having clarity of thought um, from somebody who is, you know, so afraid of being hurt that they're completely closed off to any sort of love that comes into their life. Okay, so it's a, you know, the second time this card has shown up in a prominent position. So I'm actually going to read the uh, meaning to you. Ooh. Okay, this one came with it. Ooh, book of knowledge. Very nice. Thank you. Uh, oh, so I opened to the high priest, which is a five. I just noticed there was a synchronicity there. So um, the card that actually came along as a clarifier, I pulled from the Osho Zen. It was the high priest. So it was talking about nothingness, another synchronicity. Okay, hold on a moment. So emotional loss. The number five emotions card comes forth at a time when you may be experiencing or grieving a loss of someone or something you were emotionally attached to. Honor your feelings only by healing and loving yourself. By letting go of the past can you continue your journey. The suffering associated with this loss delivers profound wisdom and knowledge for your soul. Your unique gifts, talents, and abilities, as well as your joy and sorrow, will not only make up who you really are, but better yet, who you will become. The painful experiences of life are equally as valuable as the joyous ones. Focus all your positive energy on the good in your life and what you are grateful for. Use your healing energy in this way and try not to focus on what you've lost for new beginnings and happiness are just around the corner. Um, yeah, it's weird. It's like the whole reading has shifted into the future, um, like within an instant, <laughs> you know, because this is the outcome. This is what happens. Um, okay, anyway, confirmation, nine of pentacles, the page of cups, and the three of cups. Okay, so the nine of pentacles. This is wanting your independence and freedom, um, but actually attaining that. I'm just reading that in the card right now um, because when um, this card showed up in the present position for the masculine, so it was like this was what he wanted to attain. Um, you know, that was ultimately his reason for becoming the hermit, right? Was to, to be able to be free and you know, it was an expansion kind of energy here. Um, so the Nine of Pentacles is coming in the past position. So, you know, this is a, an arrival. It is um, harvest. So there's a sense of achievement and grounding here. It's having enough money coming in where you don't have to worry. Okay, but what I'm really feeling from this is a desire to be free and have your, your independence, a disconnect from the 3D world, being able to enjoy, you know, luxury and, you know, that kind of thing, but um, being able to stand on your own, not having to worry about anybody else, you know, to look after you. But anyway, um, so it's coming in the past position. So it's almost like that moment has come and gone. Um, hmm. Okay, anyway, let's move on. I'm, I might have to pull an Osho Zen card for that. Um, so the Page of Cups represents, you know, messages of love, communicating love. It's a new beginning of love. 
um, this is Scott Pilgrim, you know, um, the quote I associate with this card is that one girl. So it's desiring to have that loving connection with somebody and express themselves, okay? So, um, you know, the present moment is wanting to communicate love and have a new beginning, but at the same time you're mourning loss and you're being closed off. So very contradictory energy here. Um, the Page of Cups was he was bringing in, you were bringing into the union um, communication of love, but it came along with the devil. Um, so this is what you hope and fear. You hope for the Nine of Pentacles, but it's like a dream that is lost because it's in the past. I don't see it manifesting here. Um, it's like you're losing hope. You made a wish and it's like it's fading away and it's because of this fear. Now you hope to be able to start a connection, a, you know, reach out to your feminine, um, but that's not likely to happen because you're closed off. Uh, the Three of Cups in the future position is actually an activation. It's feeling that love bubbling up inside of you, okay, being that open vessel. Um, but it's an activation in that the heart chakra is activated, kick-started again. Um, so, you know, this is two people coming together and falling in love and that loving feeling, act, you know, heightens you. It, it uh, makes you aware that you're connected to something much larger than yourself and you're here to love. That's the purpose, right? So there's a fear of having your heart broken um, and you want to manifest this union, this new beginning into the 3D re reality, but it's like you feel it's like slipping away. Um, and it's because you are closed off. You know, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy, like I said. Okay, so um, near future position with the call at Baron Reed. Protecting treasures, very interesting. This was a foundation card. Or no. Uh, oh my god, I'm terrible. I can't believe I can't remember. I'm going to look at the wrong book, too. Okay. Uh, so this is a crossroads position. So near future. Okay. Protecting treasures. You are always protected and divinely directed. Although this is a time of great risk, know that at a fundamental level, you are able to move forward safely and securely. Um, the proverbial nest egg is safe and sound no matter the fluctuations in the world. Guardian angels and other guides are whispering to you, making you aware of their protective presence. Your loyalty is an important theme now. Nurture what that which you hold dear. This is a good time to strengthen bonds of friendships and ensure their integrity. If you feel tested right now, know that, um, that a true and loyal heart always achieves its aim. Take refuge under an angel's wing. You are not alone and have no need to fear. Embrace your courage. Um, so now remember it was in the past position on the on on your side the masculine side um, so there's a f you know on some level there's a fear that everything that you've worked for will be taken away from you um, you know and what spirit is asking you to do is to trust that you are being looked after and you know that angels are looking over you. Um, protecting you. Okay, Ace of Wands, Three of Pentacles, and the King of Cups. Um, so the past position we have the Ace of Wands, so it's a new beginning. Um, you know, it's, it's this card right here, the Ace of Wands, that spark is initiated, you know, which uh, initiates the the death card that transformation right so it's an ending and a new beginning um, very quickly <laughs> very suddenly um, the old goes out very quickly to make room for the new okay so it's a, again a kundalini awakening um, it's a go like go time so there is an epiphany an aha moment um, that
it's like it gives you the courage to move forward with that idea knowing that you're going to be safe um, the three of pentacles is uh, a firm foundation so from that destruction there is a new growth okay so it's like the soil is rich and the seed is growing so again not to worry um, the future position is the king of cups so this could represent a water sign um, but you know this is you the masculine opening up your heart um, feeling love allowing that love to, to move through you and you know really open your heart chakra what I'm seeing here so this is a deeply loving man um, the love is pure and innocent and uh, there's emotional stability stability here um, so you are un manipulated by your emotions you know and here you can see that you're afraid that you will be manipulated and and hurt because um, you're feeling pain at this moment um, but I see healing here um, and stability that is so you know, it's such a quick transition it's like you're you're ready for it and the the tower came in so freaking quickly it happened so quickly that it came in between the readings that's how fast it freaking came in there's two towers here oh my god um so something happened <laughs> earlier today um that you know that changed your life you know and requires you to make some massive changes to yourself okay um, cut away that no longer serves you and open your freaking heart guys come on don't be afraid we're here to love okay so um john holland so what are you resisting spiritual union two of cups um, so, you know, this is recognizing your twin flame, uh, having that heart chakra activation. So again, it's like you're resisting it because you're afraid. So, like I said, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy. Um, so, this is heart chakra activation, which opens the higher level chakras. Um, and this, you know, when you meet your twin flame, you vibrate at the same level. So, it's a beautiful exchange of energy flow between the two of you. So, you're resisting this connection. Six of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, and the Magician. So Six of Wands is success and victory. It's being illuminated, and but, but also um, being on the right spiritual path and being acknowledged for that. You become the rock star. You're being placed in the light, right? So, um, yeah, people are proud of you and they see you as an example. So the past position, you felt successful, this connection illuminated you, it excited you, it made you happy. Um, you know, you, f you felt like you were um, on the right spiritual path. And so the Eight of Pentacles is in the present moment. So this is you working hard in the 3D, um, building up wealth and abundance for yourself and using that to propel you forward to... Um, really you know manifest this spiritual union into the 3d future position we have you being the master manifester and realizing that your life has just been you know an illusion and you have the power to create your own reality so um you know there's a lot of work and effort that is required here and you know it requires you to step into this powerful role you know a return to spirituality rather than the material world because it seems to me like you're kind of drowning yourself in work right now and ignoring the whole connection and that's why there's pain you know and um, heartbreak whoops it like I said self-fulfilling so stop resisting this um, you know release your attachments to the 3d if that's what it is Okay, so um, your internal environment with the Collet Baron Reed, solitude. Good. So this is 
a retreat in order to heal yourself be comfortable in your own skin um, comfortable enough to detach okay solitude I'm comfortable in my own skin as I detach to replenish my soul meditation is required when you receive the solitude card as a sign empty your mind of superficial thoughts and allow stillness to flow through your whole being this is not an advantage time to ask questions or push forward in any way. Rather, it's a period for conscious retreat. What's called for now is to step back and take your focus off your life and your troubles. You'll be surprised by how things sort themselves out once you've replenished your energy by means of much needed rest and time out. So, you know, this card was coming in your, your future position. So again, that shift this is now in your present moment. Um, so it's like, it's so crazy how the reading that I did for the Twin Flame has manifested and you're seeing the results in your reading. It's crazy. Wow. So anyways, um, here you are in this peaceful state, right? You're retreating in order to heal your heart um, and replenish your soul. Ten of Cups. Lover's card and the Divine Feminine. So Ten of Cups past position. This is the happily ever after. It is feeling bliss, um, you know, uh, unconditional love. Uh, so like I said, it's a happily ever after. Um, the Ace of Cups is in your foundation. So there's a new start at the end. It's, you know, it that love built to a point where you felt like, you know, you arrived you know it's a completion happily ever after but it's in the past position and now you're in solitude okay so completely opposite energies here um, and while you're in solitude you're thinking about this twin flame connection this is a lover's card um, so this is hunger passion desire it's a longing for that connection um, so it's very animalistic sexual kind of activation energy so it, you know it's when the twins first meet and fall in love there's this um, blowout of crazy awesome energy right and it's it's you only feel that connection with your twin flame and nobody else right that you're a divine feminine um, so that's what you're thinking about you, how you know you felt this love unconditional love in the past and you desire to reconnect with that in the future and you do um, this is a divine feminine twin flame um, you know you being in this rested state you manifest this love into your future but it requires you to open up your heart and and express your love Okay, um, so your external environment, just gonna put that up there for a second. We'll do the John Holland um, emotional withdrawal. So, someone in your environment is withdrawing emotionally, and that could be the reason for the tower over there. Um, so, this is someone who's walking away from an emotionally draining situation um, in order to seek solitude. Um, you know, in order to go on a pilgrimage in search of self. So I'm not sure if this is the twin energy yet. Nine of Wands, the Solar Plexus Chakra, and the Star card. So Nine of Wands is the wounded warrior. It's being through the battle, you know, fighting over and over again and having scars and battle wounds and wanting to give up and walk away. Um, so what I'm feeling here is you know the feminine energy giving up and walking away because she was bringing the five of swords into um, the union and so what I was feeling from that was a withdrawal um, but it was a disconnect it was a conscious disconnect um, to release herself from many attachments but here it's gone a little deeper here we see how tired she is, how overburdened she is, and she gets the Ten of Wands in the future position. Um, so there is an ending to feeling that, okay? So she is withdrawing from the connection. 
um, in order to make choices for herself. And again, that's very reflective of um, her side of the reading. Solar plexus chakra is power, so it's fiery energy. This also represents spiritual strength or also. So it's like being the Buddha, right? At your core, um, you have you know your your beliefs and you're unwavering you know so it's um she has a lot of strength within her but um again there's a sense that she needs to retreat to heal herself and find herself um and that's what happens in the future the star card is not only wish granted but it comes after a very difficult period of time um and so it offers hope that the worst is over now uh, and now it's time for rest and healing, rejuvenation. Um, so there is a mirroring happening here where they're both aspects are retreating in order to heal themselves. Um, however, you, the masculine, um, are more turned to your attention towards the feminine. Now, the, the opening line is from this card is, I am you know, confident enough in my own skin in order to detach. Um, so I'm not feeling, you know, there's a sense that you might lose something as a result of this detachment. Um, it's just, you know, you're, you feel a great deal of love for your, your feminine. It's almost like you can't turn it off or something. I don't know. Um, but anyway, healing is required. Okay. Cause um, a closed off heart um, I don't know I mean it's sad <laughs> to close yourself off you know, because of pain that happened in the past um, okay so the outcome and yeah I'll use a John Holland just to kind of keep it symmetrical kind of OCD like that alright so the final outcome for these three cards here Magician, awareness, very nice. So it's coming in the future position, right? And <laughs> nice synchronicity. Um, so this is realizing your power. You know, it's reconnecting with source. It is um, having focus and manifesting your thoughts and dreams into reality. So it's empowerment, and that's beautiful. From that sol solitude, you are illuminated. Awareness. Um, so... Let's pull the clarifiers. Just bring that down here. Temperance card. Chariot. And the Seven of Cups. Past position, we have the Temperance card. So, you know, sometimes this uh, can mean the ultimate union for twin flames, right? So it's the, the souls recombining. It's that 5D uh, union. Um, now it's in the past position so for me I'm seeing balance uh, so this is balance in all areas of your life whether it be mental physical emotional or spiritual and you know you would have to arrive at this level in order to fully be conscious and aware that you create your own reality right so if you say something mean to a person in the 3d that will come back to you or manifest, right? So it's power, control, um, and balance. The present position, we have the chariot. So this is movement forward out of that solitude, out of that, that you know, now state. It's like you see what you want in the future and you're going to manifest it and you're taking control of your life. So this is using the board to steer your way through the vortex, overcoming obstacles and challenges, and, uh, and being victorious. And in the future position, we have the Seven of Cups. Now, this was the card for the overall energy of the reading for the Twin Flames. So, it, so it's confusion, being lost. Um, but we see here you're following your heart, so I'm not sure why this card is showing up in the future position. I guess what I'm feeling is whatever it is that you're pursuing, it's your, you're following your heart. Um, so let me just pull an Osho Zen card. What do you mean by the Seven of Cups? The card always shows up. Okay, this one. Nine of Swords.
Oops, Daisy. Sorry. There we go. Okay, sorrow. So it's a nine of swords. You know, this is staying up at night. Nightmares, night terrors, fear, guilt, anxiety, stress. Uh, but the nine is nearing the completion of that. Okay, so this pain is not to make your, you sad. Remember that where people go on missing, this pain is just to make you more alert. Because people become alert only when the arrow goes deep into their heart and wounds them. Otherwise, they don't become alert. When life is easy, comfortable, convenient, who cares, who bothers to become alert? When a friend dies, there's a possibility. When your woman leaves you alone, those dark nights, you are lonely. You have loved that woman so much, and you have stalked all, and then suddenly one day she is gone, crying in your loneliness. Those are the occasions when, if you use them, you become aware. The arrow is hurting. It could be used. The pain is not to make you miserable. The pain is to make you more aware. And when you are aware, misery disappears. Wow. How profound is that? No wonder is Dorothy in Wizard of Oz is in the future. She's like, whoa, what the hell just happened there? Um, so it's like you're using that pain um, to become aware, awareness. Um, you know, you may have lost something recently, um, but instead of closing yourself off to it, like I said, use that pain to rise your consciousness and awareness. It's only through the fire that we become illuminated. So that's that awareness, that growing awareness, right? And realization with Dorothy. Okay. So let's do the call it Baron Reed for the summary outcome. Wow, magic prayer. That's amazing synchronicity. Wishing well, making a wish, right? Making or praying. It's the same kind of idea. It's sending that seed of intention out into the universe. So, number 32. Magic prayer. Speak your prayer. Listen for the answer. Act in faith. When you see the magic prayer card, it is a reminder that your prayers will be answered. Spirit is always waiting to help you and to heal you when you're in need. That said, the best prayer is, Thy will be done through me. Thy will not be done. Mine be done. Conscious contact with your higher power is achieved through the ritual of prayer and meditation. Speak and listen to the divine force within the field of creation. Surrender your wishes and desires to spirit. You may not get what you want, but you will surely get what you need. Your destiny awaits you. As long as you keep in conscious contact with your higher power, be assured that you're on the right path, right? So there's that higher power, that connection to source, um, and activating that field of potential and I really felt that in the twin flame reading as well there's this electromagnetic vibration um, that causes a grand awakening in the future position okay so confirmations justice sun and the base chakra so justice card coming past position this is karma coming back to you in a good way so it's a return of that energy right you sent out that seed of intention, and I see that energy, your wish being fulfilled, being granted. Um, so, again, it's like cause and effect. So, the present position is the sun card. So, this is the best major arcana to get. Uh, so, it's illumination, it's powerful energy, excitement, um, freedom, a return to innocence. Um, it is abundance, harvest, uh, like a new beginning. So there's this massive return from the karmic energy. Um, it's manifested. In the future position, we have the base chakra. So this is safety, security. Whoa, one minute. 
sorry about that. Okay, so this is safety security. It's foundation, grounded. Um, and, you know, in the near future, you were worried about um, your, you know, your nest aid. Um, so you are safe, you are secure, things are being looked after. Um, so I'm also seeing that seed of intention being grounded with that card as well. Okay, so final outcome. Yeah, let's do the call at. Let me just give it a quick shuffle here. This one. Strength. Okay, your true strength comes not from self-reliance alone, but from sincere faith faith in the higher power. The strength to accomplish even the most daunting tasks is yours at this time. You can connect with and channel the power of the universe. The strength card indicates that your ideas are being tested and refined and your relationships are being deepened. No matter what happens, nothing can move you off course of evolution. As the potency of your connection becomes more obvious, you'll, you're able to harness the creative energies that are available to you. Have courage and dive in, for magic is in the process of finding form to take. When you remember that real strength comes from a combination of your efforts and reliance on a higher power working through you, all is possible. You can do anything now. Um, yeah, so, you know, that kind of goes in line with your power, your manifestation awareness. You can't be knocked off course. Um, you know, that spark is growing within you, and it's like... Um, you know that seed takes root and sprouts into this amazing tree um, so it's illumination and um, grounded energy that I feel um, so you can accomplish anything right you've, you've you gain this confidence ultimately as a result of moving through um, this painful experience okay so uh, let's give this a shuffle. It's very humid in here, so the cards stick together. Oh, okay. So let me put it down. All right, strength card. Four cups. Throat chakra. And nine of swords. So past position, four of cups. This is stagnation and boredom, feeling like things aren't moving fast enough. It is offering a cup of love and somebody rejecting it, not you know accepting it. Um, but it is restless energy. It's feeling out of control, like you know a decision is in somebody else's hands. Um, so what I'm I'm feeling here is you're turning your back on a situation. Um, because you're afraid of being hurt and closed off but ultimately it's in the past so you do open up um, the throat chakra you know it's very reminiscent of that wide open kind of energy express yourself speak up speak out um, you know it's the strength that you've gained that empowers you to really you know take the reins and take control of your life and manifest your desires. So it's like overcoming obstacles, challenges, um, you know, going after what you want. However, the future position, we've got the Nine of Swords. So it's kind of a regression energy. However, um, I feel that it is an ending to this fear um, because, you know, the future position, the the death card, that transformation occurs. So that could be that ending there. Um, it is, you know, this is worry, anxiety, fear, guilt. Um, yeah. Oh, here we go. <laughs> so it's the same, same card here. So um, it's awareness, awakening, repeated message, very strong message here. So um, use whatever pain, whatever, de you know, detachment, whatever whatever happened to you in the past let it go okay cut that away it's not helping you guys all right 
there. Spirit got the message across. You are strong. Um, don't be afraid to, to love. All right, so I'm going to give it a little shuffle, and then I will choose a card for the overall energy. Okay, stop. Two of Pentacles. So this is a wind of change. This is making a decision to, you know, have a new life, plant that seed and and nurture it so it grows into the Ten of Pentacles. So um, there is that decision, right, for new beginning, the past, and the energy of the old is being cleared out. And while that clearing out is happening, you're feeling unsteady. Um, and here we have, again, this representation of having a lot of choices, you know, confusion. Dorothy is kind of looking at all these doors, you know, where is Kansas? Um, so the, the thing is, the spirit is asking to go within and be the calm within the storm, right? While all, while all this destruction occurs, just find your balance, find your center point. Um, because you know this is what you desired you are manifesting what you wanted into reality and it could feel uneasy but um, being in the now um, you know finding that balance being in the now will help you make it through that transition okay so I'm going to pull one card from Miss and mermaids, and I'll read that to you for a final message from the universe. This one, okay. Mermaid with pink lotus. Ooh, number one. Okay, so yeah, this is all about looking after yourself, seeking solitude, um, finding rest healing yourself after that tower. Okay, mermaid with pink lotus. Close your drowsy drooping eyes and come with me to paradise. Leave your cares for just an hour to focus on floating flower. Let the water soothe your, your flesh and leave you rested fit and fresh. A fair mermaid drifts languidly among a tangle of lily pads in a tra tranquil lagoon. A single pink lotus blossom adorns her hair a second floats nearby in the pool. So relaxed is she that her slight movement do little to disrupt the surface of the water. Um, so the meaning, make an effort to relax. Stop what you're doing and take a deep breath. It's time to relax. You are not selfish and that can be a blessing. Helping your loved ones is an important part of who you are, but sometimes it's okay to set aside your worries about others and take some time for yourself. Maybe you're feeling stressed or overwhelmed. Try not to let it wear you down. Instead, try these relaxation techniques to improve your health and well-being. Number one, close your eyes and imagine a personal paradise. What do you see, hear, or feel? Let yourself become engulfed in these sensations. Allow your breathing to become slow and even, and notice your energy flow throughout your body. This will help you feel refreshed and rejuvenated. Number two, take a hint from our mermaid friend and let yourself be soothed by calming water. A walk near a beach or a lake or a rest near a bubble, bubbling fountain can bring inner tranquility. Three, are you finding it difficult to relax? A change in environment can be most helpful in reducing stress. A short getaway for some pampering at a spa could be just what the body and mind needs to chase away that stress. All right, I, I'm being interrupted, so I guess that's an ending to the reading. All right, cheers, guys. Much love.